Brochuring Canvas step-by-step -step in 2023. Hello guys, Ilya here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create your own brochure in Canva. Basically it's pretty easy, just follow the steps I do to not make any mistakes. So if you are new to this website you need to create an account. In the right top corner you can just log in using your Gmail or just create your own account. We can use Canva for free, there are also some paid version as you can see, but in this tutorial I will show you how you can use it for free. So when you log in you'll come to this page and as you can see you may try and there are a lot of different like templates here. As you can see we have a brochure but sometimes it's hidden so we need to slide our slide bar to the right side or the, to the left side. So let's jump straight into brochure template. We need to click on create a blank right up here. And now we'll go to new page here. So this one we can just close. And as you can see, the work field is divided into three different parts. So the main part, the middle and the last one. And in the left side menu here, we can find a lot of different templates. So you may find the most suitable as for you, because in this video we'll create it by editing the template. So we need to find the existing templates. As you can see, uh, some of them are free to use and some of them are paid. So if you have like pro icon near the brochure, it means that it's only for paid version. So I found this one really interesting, this brochure here. So we can just click on it and we'll open our page with our brochure. As you can see, we have like two pages here. So uh, for the first page, we need to select this one. Then we need to add like click on add page. And after that, we are able to choose the second one right up here. So as you can see, now we have like two paged brochure. Now all we need is just to like uh, add some changes. Of course, I'd like to change the colors of the text and from the wall color. So in order to uh, change it, we need to click on our page here. As you can see in the top of the screen, we have the option to add, to change the background basically. I'd like to change it to this color, I think. I'd like also to change this. So I think it will look much better in this color. Uh, as you can see, every single element here is able to change, to delete, to like change color, to change the font, to change the the font color. Basically everything we can uh, click and try to delete. So let me also change the color of these parts here. So I will choose these colors as the main one. And as you can see now it looks much, much more beautiful. We'll also change uh, some text right up here. The fitness, tar target fitness. I would like to enter the name of my company like YouTube channel. So as you can see, now we need to resize our label here to make it suitable into two lines. And I would like also to choose all the text here and I would like to change the size to make it fit to this part of the uh, of the workflow because uh, when we'll print it, we'll, you know, like change the, we'll scrap it. So uh, basically work, no excuses. Yes, uh, also let's change like more videos and let's change the color. So just choose it and I will just change the color to the like, like this, I guess. So let it be like that. Uh, so after that, as you can see, we have like contacts area here, get in touch today and there is the address. Uh, but uh, sometimes it's uh, necessary to add like Instagram or YouTube or WhatsApp maybe. So in order to do this, we need to click on elements and then I'd like to add like YouTube. We need to find something which is called YouTube. So let's choose this one and we can uh, now ch change it. Let's uh, change the size to the last one, for example, here, change the color. Yes, 
And now we need to add some text. So we need to click on text here, add heading, and let's add our channel name. So I would like also to change the color to white one and change the text size. So it will be helpful for you if you want to like change uh, to add some social media to your brochure. And of course, it will be better to set your contact information right up here. So I won't do this. But if you are um, making the brochure, of course, you need to change it. So uh, let's go to the next page. And uh, here we have some text white target more out should be something to look forward to. Yeah, so here we need to also change some text, for example, why YouTube, uh, like making videos um, can can lead you to your dreams, like I guess can lead you to your dreams. There could be some mistakes, but basically it doesn't matter. So uh, I would like to delete this uh, text and as you can see now it looks like really really uh, suitable so uh, we need to go to the next part here membership no insurance or setup so if you're trying to maybe i don't know sell our courses we can add some prices here let's set it like 995 full assess for 99 and student or senior monthly let it be like 595 basically and of course there is like some quotes the staff are very friendly helpful and supportive of members efforts work out healthy and get in shape going to the gym okay let's make something like make more videos and more videos and everything will be okay so let's change it to our name. Uh, so basically now our brochure is ready to be exported. Everything was changed. Of course, you can add some more details if you need. You can draw, you can add text, add your photos, uploads. So there are a lot of opportunities. We can even add some photos here, like the background, for example, if we need. So sometimes it could be really helpful. Let's try to add, for example, the logo of YouTube. So as you can see, sometimes it could be really, really suitable. Um, Figma provides a lot of different instruments here we can use easily. So uh, we can also add, so for example, this one. This one is animated basically, but when we'll uh, print it, it will be like... Uh, just simple text so let's delete it we won't, we won't use it basically so now we just need to click on share here and click on download and download once more click on get started and now basically everything will be done and as you can see we have our file here so if we'll open we have our brochure is right up here so now it's ready to be printed and to be made as a brochure I hope guys this video helped you out. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. If you have any questions, you can write them in the comments below. I wish you a very good day and goodbye.